this is an extremely important video for me and also this video is going to be a benchmark video on my channel you know why for the first time on my youtube career i have received a brand collaboration and that too from none other than sugar cosmetics itself and this is a bata collaboration which i am sure that all of you know by now what it is they have sent me a full face worth of product for me to try it out in front of you guys and give a demo and review as well it's a big deal for me because sugar is a brand that i have been using even before i was a youtuber so sugar cosmetics if you're watching this thank you so much for giving me the chance to collaborate with you guys so today i will be creating a celebrity makeup look i chose nina dobriv's makeup uh, i chose this look because it's a very statement kind of a look it's timeless it never goes out of trend i have already moisturized my face for preparing my base i am going to be priming my face and for that i have the sugar cosmetics face forward stick primer it's a clear primer This primer gives a very similar effect to your silicone based primer but it's not as heavy as the silicone primer on the skin. For foundation they have sent me the Goddess of Flawless BB cream in the shade 55 Americano Medium Deep Cream. I mean for a BB cream formulation this one actually has a good coverage. So first I'm going to try and blend it out with one side with my fingers because BB cream usually people use it with their hand. The only problem is that I can notice some streakiness over here because I'm using my finger. Now let me see how it performs with the blender on this side. Definitely the coverage is a lot lesser than the finger side and i can see that a lot of product is actually absorbed into the blender however i do have a solution to the dry and matte finish that we are going for Oh my god this smells so good i can totally use this as a perfume in nina's picture i saw that she has kept the brows pretty bushy and sugar has sent me their arch rival brow powder in the shade 04 felix onyx this is a ashy brown black it's not jet black or it's not too you can take your brow brush which has uh, one side angled and the other side a spoolie just pick up the product When doing brows try to remember always start with the end make sure that you don't pick up too much of product in the first coat you can see that Nina has almost little to no eye shadow there is probably a little bit of shading around the crease so for this look i am going to use sugar's new eye shadow palette they have sent the blend the rules eye shadow palette in the shade uh, 03 it's not shade it's a variant 03 fantasy look at the shades how beautiful they are i'm just going to shadow the crease line over here i'm going to take the shade mauve nude with a flat shader brush picking up the shade rose gold with my finger and giving a light wash all over my lid this is a nice dusty pink shimmery rose for eyeliner i'm going to use their i want you so double matte eyeliner in the shade 01 black swan Okay I love the texture it doesn't I don't think this is a waterproof liner is it no this is not a waterproof liner so there is no shine For completing rest of my base I'm going to use their face palette in the variant 03 fierce feet it comes with a contouring highlighting and blush shade all of the formulations are pretty good and uh, easy to work with they are buttery smooth and easily blends on your skin I love the blush shade also it's so pigmented i did not really estimate its power correctly the highlighter is also pretty glowy i was supposed to go really subtle with it and i picked up really little amount of product but as you can see the glow is really showing up even on camera with so much little amount of product For lipstick I have 3 shades from Matte Attack range and 3 shades from the Smudge Me Not range. I think I'm going to go for the Spring Crimson shade uh because it's a blue tone red and that's how I want this look to be and also going to mix a little bit of Drop Dead Red from Smudge Me Not because Nina's lipstick looks a little bit brownish. Okay friends, that is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed it. All the links to the product will be in the description box and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I will see you soon in the next one.